Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Practical IT React JS tutorial. On this video, we're going to be discussing on the basics of the client server architecture. And um, as we know, the front end part that we're discussing, which is including the React that we're going to be just using as the library, is one part of the whole picture. And that is what we mean by like the uh, client. So we have the client, which the user is going to be just using to conduct any kind of request, whether through the mobile application or through the web. Then this client is going to be just using what we call an API in order to fetch the data or send the data or update the data or de de delete the data, or in general, we're going to call it as a resource from what we call a server. So the client is the one who's requesting and the server is the one who's fulfilling the request and then sending back what we call the response. And in a typical uh, Google search, for example, when you go to like the google.com and type in your search phrase, then you are from the client side and through the API or the application program interface, you're going to be just sending your request. Let's say you're going to be just interested to learn more about the ReactJS and you're going to be typing ReactJS and that is going to be from your client, that is your browser. And your browser is going to be just going through the API and then pass it over to the Google server. And what would happen is the Google server, once it gets the uh, request, then it's going to populate and then send you back uh, your data. And then the data is going to be just displayed on your client. Now in the API, there are a couple of things going on. What it means is we have to have the knowledge or the right information in order to ask the request so that the right server with the right kind of information is going to be uh, called and then we're going to get like what we are going to be just looking for. So the first one is going to be a part of the API is going to be the URI or the URL and that's going to be where that server is found. So if it is, you're going to be uh, communicating with a the Google, then it's going to be just a google.com or if they are providing any other, uh, they say API at google.com, then that would be it or anything that the server would want to be communicated with then they're going to be just providing that URL. Uh, and then based on that URL, we're going to be having like the first information. So we know where to fetch the data. And the other part is the HTTP method. So the most common ones that we are using day in day out are the uh, gate, uh, post, delete, put, and patch. And there are more as well. Uh, but most of the time it's going to be just this one. So the idea behind this one is what is your intent when you are trying to have a communication with the server? Are you trying to read the resource? In that case, you're going to be using get. Are you trying to post the data, like uh, creating a data or registration or payment orders and you know, those kinds of things which would be creating a record? Then in that case, most of the time we're going to be just using a post. And if that your request is regarding like the update of the already existing information that you have on your server, in that case, you're going to be just using a put or a patch uh, depending on how you're going to handle it. And then the other one is a delete when you want to delete the record from the server. So that is going to be just contained under the, what we call a HTTP method. And that's going to be just also the part of the API. And the other one is depending on what you are trying to do and especially uh, when you are creating a resource on a server or patching a server or a record on a server, then you're going to need to provide a data. So think, think about it like uh, when, when you are trying to register, then you have to send the data along with it, right? Your, your name, probably your address or anything that's going to be just required by the server in order to get registered, then you're going to pass it through your data. And then that's going to be just what we mean by a data as a part of like the API. And the other one is a header. Uh, these are like an additional information you might be adding that you are sending from the client. Uh, most of the time we're going to use this one uh, for the purpose of sending like the tokens or additional information on top of like what we are sending to uh, the server. So uh, an API most of the time may contain these things, but you know, like some of them might be 
um, optionals, but at least uh, the URL and that of the HTTP method are going to be just important. Uh, most of the time, if you're not providing anything by default, the HTTP method appears to be a git, but um, there is going to be just a requirement just to pass it uh, be behind the hoods and you know, like the server is going to be understanding uh, it is going to be just a git. Um, most of the time, if it is anything that you can see it on your browser, then basically it's going to be a git. Now, uh, when uh, you are coming to this tutorial, which is the ReactJS, there is an assumption uh, you already know the basics of the Java, this the JavaScript, sorry. Uh, so this one is like a basic, uh, in, you know, like a kind of uh, a summary on a client server architecture. And on the next video, we're going to be just going through and then take a look on uh, actual implementation uh, using like the Axios on how we're going to be just communicating uh, from the server and fetching the data and displaying it on our component in ReactJS. So I'm going to see you on the next video.